Hey guys, happy spring equinox. And I'm so sorry I have not been posting as much lately. Things have gotten pretty hectic over here. Things are also getting really tight um, over here as well as in most parts of the world. So yeah, I am doing the best I can. And I do wanna thank everybody for all of your support, donations, the personal readings, just everything. Um, also, I am now offering cord cutting sessions um, I just haven't had a chance to make like an official post about it, but I am letting you guys know. I have been providing these services to my existing clients and I've gotten really, really good feedback and really good results. Um, so for now, I'm actually offering them for a limited time at a discounted price. It is $130, but it does include a an Earthbound Spirit release um, as well as a 20 to 30 minute video with feedback of the cord. All right, so it's not just you're ordering the cord cutting session, I tell you, okay, your cord is cut and that's the end. No, there's a lot more to it. I will also be giving you a prayer um, to help keep earthbound spirits away from your aura as protection. And yeah, just information about the dynamics, okay, between you and the person that you're cutting the cord with. It also includes a little bit of tarot and oracle cards as well. Um, so yeah, so that's $130 for a limited time. Um, if you want more information, feel free to email me. Also, if you don't know, um, if you want a cord cutting session but you're not really sure who you'd want to cut cords with, Again, email me and I can help you to figure all of that out. All right, so with all of that said, let's get into today's reading. This is going to be for divine soulmate connections where the masculine is also involved in a karmic relationship. Could be a situation, so just take the messages as they apply. Um, and yes, I am aware that there are a lot of feminines who are also in karmic um, situations or relationships. Again, just take the messages as they apply to you. A lot of what comes through for the masculine um, does it also apply to the feminine in that regard, okay? Um, otherwise, if you want, you can get a personal reading for more specific details. Um, yeah, and you can find all that information in the description box as well. All right, so keeping in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, all right? Let's see, let's get into it. For the masculines. What is going on with the masculines? We'll also be looking at the feminine's energy as well as what is coming up. All right, for the masculine, what do we need to know at this time? Okay, so we got more than usual. We got three cards here. All right, we have the sun, we have man holding a coin, and we have all tied up. All right, okay, so lots of messages here. There's something that's going on here. First of all, the masculine is really beginning to focus on what it is that would make them happy, all right? Um, what is it that is fulfilling? What is it that is not fulfilling? There's a lot of emphasis on happiness, but I'm also getting that there's a lot of depression for a lot of them. Now, with man holding a coin and all tied up, I'm even getting that there is something that's going on here within the karmic relationship um, that is actually... Okay. I'm getting the sense that it's something very triggering because something is happening, something new is happening, something different is happening that is actually making them feel more trapped or making them see how trapped they actually are. But it's interesting because there's an underlying purpose for this. And that underlying purpose is for them to really see how they've been keeping themselves in this situation. So it's like because of whatever is binding them to that. So it's like something new is happening that is initially making them feel even more trapped, but that's so that it can actually trigger them into doing something about it. Um, even with the sun, it's like, it's not just happiness. This is something being revealed, something being brought to their awareness. And 
I'm even getting, this isn't going to be for all of them, obviously, okay? But for some of them, this could even be like a pregnancy. So if the masculine was in a um, connection where they wanted to, to break away from, but they're feeling trapped, well, now, you know, for example, there's this new pregnancy, so now they're feeling even more trapped, and that trappedness as a feeling is coming up more to the surface so that they can actually break away from it. Um, that's just an example, all right, because the sun in traditional tarot does oftentimes represent children um, or even a pregnancy. So it's similar in this oracle deck as well. For others of them, it could even be something financial that is happening where now they're feeling more tied. So maybe like a mutual financial debt um, that's new, that just occurred um, together with the karmic partner. So now they're feeling again like, okay, this is just another reason. Um, like there's just always going to be something, right? If I want to come up with excuses, look, there's always something and it can always get worse and worse and worse. So that is being brought to their awareness and to their attention. It's like the sun, like, bam, here, take it, <laughs> look at it. It's illuminating this to them. So, wow, okay, pretty specific um, and pretty deep at the same time. So I'm not gonna pull any more from any more Oracle decks. I feel like this is actually enough. So, and it doesn't have to be just pregnancy or something financial. It could be just about anything, okay, like um, a contract or maybe something um, concerning, you know, a child or work or it, it, anything, okay, anything. So let's see. Let's see the masculine's general energy towards the karmic situation. <clears throat> All right, the Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, okay, so, so concerning love, right, Ace of Cups. For a lot of them, there is actually love there, okay, let me just say that. There is some kind of uh, love. And there is something here that they are worried about losing, all right? There's a sense of insecurity of losing out on something. And for some of them, it could just be comfort, right? It could just be, um, you know, or, or the familiar, the known. But there's a sense of feeling like they're going to lose something from their own self. But preceding this, we have the Two of Swords. So there's a lot of questioning now about this, about what it is that they've been holding on to and what is love, what is not love, what is happiness, what is not happiness, what is fulfillment, what is not fulfillment. Okay, and this Two of Swords, this is that whatever their situation is right now, well, it's not in alignment. There is no, there's something that the masculine and the karmic are not agreeing on. It does feel like the masculine though is holding back from fully expressing this to the, to the karmic. We are gonna clarify some of these. So let me just move on to what's going on in their headspace. star in reverse, the knight of swords in reverse, and strength. So whatever this is that they're not agreeing on, um, the masculine feels like there is no hope in actually healing that or in actually, you know, resolving that or in um, moving forward in whatever way. So, and, and again, it also feels like, you know, whatever it is that they have discovered, these news or, you know, whatever, um, they're really not happy about it. Not happy at all. Um, it almost feels like maybe for some of them, maybe it's even that the karmic like has suggested something or has made some kind of a proposal and the masculine is just not wanting to move forward with it. So in a, at least, 
I mean, I don't know if they will or they won't, but in their headspace, though, they're, they're not wanting it. With the Knight of Swords being in reverse, they actually want to run the other way. Again, with strength, though, being here, I, I, it feels like, you know, they're kind of... Temporarily, they're trying to be patient um, to see what they're going to do about this. But also, knowing that whatever it is that this is, they're going to have to be... <laughs> they're really going to have to pull out their strength card right now. They're really going to have to find that strength that's already there and actually use it. So this is something that they're thinking. Let's see emotionally. of wands in reverse, the nine of swords in reverse, the six of cups, and the ten of wands. A lot of stress here. I mean, even with this knight of swords being in reverse, it's not just them not wanting to move forward with whatever this news is. It's, um, it's also a lot of restlessness in their minds, a lot of um, back and forth, a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration. Um, they're agitated. They're agitated. I'm even getting that, that they're feeling physically sick for some of them. Because it has been brought to their attention how, how tired they really are and that, you know, this... For some of them, again, not, not for all of them, but for some of them, this is like a make or break. This is like, okay, get out now. Otherwise, like, you're just going to be tied up more. So a lot of stress, which is extremely overwhelming to them. Like, to the point where they're, I feel like they're actually, like, having um, a lot of, like, nostalgia for the past <laughs> from before this this came into into play um and that's why we have the six of cups here like just and, and again for some of them yes it could be again representing you know um children but just generally i feel like it's um a nostalgia for the past I mean, they're really feeling overburdened by this, whatever it is, and extremely, extremely stressed. So, yeah, let's let's clarify. Let's clarify, and then we'll move on to their energy towards their feminine. So let's see that top row. I'm just going to clarify it as a, as a whole. Queen of Swords in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like at the moment they can't even think clearly here. They can't even think clearly. Um, they really don't know how to move forward. They can't think clearly about how to proceed, how to progress. Um, again, I do get the sense that there is an underlying lesson in all of this that is happening. So there is there's a purpose. There's a purpose for all of this. Um, but there's a lot of disagreement here. It's like there's a lot of, um, I don't know how to say this, like contrast between the masculine and the karmic or about something. And again, it's coming in as news, as something that they have found out about their material world. For some of them, I mean, I don't know if it's, yeah, it, it, it can be anything. Let me just say that. It can be anything. Um, all right, let's see the second row for their headspace. The five of swords in reverse and the four of swords in reverse. Yeah, I mean, talk about restlessness, okay? This is just 
Um, and like I said, they're feeling physically ill. <laughs> okay, showing up again here with this Four of Swords in reverse. Um, they, they're they having this... Oh, okay. The masculine is really wanting to fight against this, against whatever this is, but I feel like they are holding back at the moment um, because they're feeling very vulnerable at the moment because of this. So it, it feels like, yeah, they need to take some time before they can actually do something here about it. So very specific message this time around. Um, like I said, it might not be for everybody, but I do feel like, and you know, for, for some of you, it might be um, to a greater extent, like it might be something more significant, and for others, it could just be something smaller. So let's see this bottom row. Judgment and the Four of Cups. Okay, so see, this is the underlying purpose. It's, and this is in their emotional space, to really be able to see how unhappy they are. Four of Cups, right? The disappointment. And that is what they're feeling. This is like a wake-up call. Like, look, you're, you're settling. You're not happy. This isn't what you want. This is a very disappointing um, situation for them. And so that's why, you know, they're feeling, like I said, like physically ill um, because of this. But it's it's for psychological reasons, right? Um, but of course, it could be psychosomatic. Like some of them could actually develop symptoms, right? Physical symptoms um, because of this. But the whole point of this is to lead them to release those wants. Um, I feel like this is just like a, a major wake-up call for the masculines who have been stagnant and who have not really taken the signs and the messages and the pushes from the universe, from the divine. Um, because the universe is always going to do things to try to push them in that direction. But of course, the masculine has free will. But the universe and their higher self will never stop trying to get them on the right path. So whatever this is that's happening, you know, know that that's, that's why it's happening. Um, so yeah, emotionally, major wake-up call concerning their emotional state. It had to be brought to their awareness in a more, um, <laughs> significant, um, like shaking up kind of a way. Okay, so let's see their energy towards their feminine. Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and then I feel like both of these are in reverse. Um, the Four of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, wow. So there's a lot of reminiscing happening here, a lot of nostalgia. Um, so that seems to be like a common theme here. Yeah, and that's the second time we're getting the Ten of Wands in reverse as well. So they're just feeling burdened um, overall by everything, by the fact also that they have not um, recovered or healed um, the connection with the feminine. But really what it is that they haven't healed is the fact that, you know, they don't have their, they haven't... Um, satisfied or achieved their their wish fulfillment what it is that would fulfill them what it is that they would want it also feels like they're kind of relating what's happening um in the situation with their karmic they're relating that to the feminine i mean we already have two cards showing up um no three that are identical wow and exactly in the same like position in terms of whether they're upright or reverse. The Six of Cups upright in both cases, the Ten of Wands, and then the Four of Swords both in reverse. That's exactly how they showed up here. So they are relating it in the in the sense of 
feeling like now there's more of a burden to carry and it's going to be so much more difficult to release that and so they're feeling more burdened concerning their feminine again feeling feeling i just keep getting this feeling ill <laughs> um and feeling not not happy so that's why when we got the sun like i was sure like i knew there was um something here to do with happiness like it's just really the universe is throwing it in their face it's like the universe is asking the masculine are you freaking happy and if not what are you going to do about it so let's see what's going on in their headspace Sun in reverse, the hanged man in reverse, and the king of cups. Hmm. Yeah, see, there's that sun. Um, so again, it's like whatever was revealed concerning the karmic, it's like they're feeling like it's having a negative effect for whatever potential there is here with the, with the feminine. But see, this is, again, there's a reason for it. It's not exactly what it appears to be on the surface. It runs a lot deeper, as I said before. There's, there's a higher purpose for this so in their headspace yeah they're feeling like they don't have what they want here right they're they're feeling like and, and also feeling the um like the hope kind of like being affected almost like they for some of them this isn't for all of them but for some of them they didn't realize how much they wanted the feminine until now that they feel like they're getting more trapped with the karmic Kind of like, you know, when you want something more, when you realize you can't have it, it's kind of like that. Um, and again, this is, uh, this is happening to help get them unstuck because now they're feeling stuck in this unhappiness. Um, and especially in terms of being able to have this satisfy their, their heart, satisfy their, their love, their emotions. So let's see their emotional space. The world in reverse, the hermit, I feel like this one wanted to come out in the king of wands. I also did see the Ace of Wands in reverse um, while I was shuffling. They're feeling, it's almost like this feeling of, wow, do I really need to close the door now permanently to this, even though it feels incomplete and like, it's, like it shouldn't have been closed. That's what they're feeling, but the door is not closed. That's the thing, the door is not closed. They're just feeling, and that's why the world is in reverse, because they're feeling like something is, it's, it's incomplete. Like they're feeling like I didn't get to fully, you know, complete um, this connection, right, with my feminine. And there's a lot of, a lot of deep, deep thinking now and feeling a lot of um, deep emotions and really wanting to be, I mean, look, King of Cups and the King of Wands, right? The love is there, the passion is there, um, wanting to conquer this in whatever way, like they're moving in that direction. <laughs> That's manic sneezing, if you guys can hear that. Um, but there's also this sense of, with this hermit, like just feeling alone. Like a lot of a lot of things are playing out now in their head and it's affecting their emotions, like even like what am I gonna grow old like without without my feminine it and that's even pushing them towards this king of wands because the cycle is not complete, like the, the connection has not been satisfied. So I actually feel like 
we don't need to clarify and being guided to not clarify because those were the messages that wanted to come through for now. So let's just get, um, let's get a few cards for the feminine and then we'll see what is coming up here. So for the feminines, oh, okay, so interesting, appreciation and indecision. Okay, so you can take this as maybe as, um, as a confirmation okay, for what you are feeling, or take it as guidance, okay, depending. But what this is referring to is fully appreciating, on, meaning accepting and understanding and being able to appreciate why all of this is happening, right, the indecision that the masculine has been in. So what this means is that the feminine is getting less and less triggered by the indecision or by other things, by anything really. Um, whatever these news are that the masculines may have discovered about the karmic, if, if the feminine happens to find out about it, um, I feel like you're going to be less, less triggered. Um, and if you're not, again, I mean, know that it's okay. I feel like this is what you're moving towards or just, you know, holding your awareness that, that this is happening not only for the masculine, but it's also... Um, a lesson for you as well and it's to help get you to that point where you're not as attached or you're not as as affected by what's going on here basically what it comes down to is knowing that the masculine is not responsible for your happiness the masculine is not responsible for your happiness or for your psychological balance um do I have a deck? One sec. All right. So for the feminines, I'm just going to pull three cards to see anything that wants to come through for you. Additionally to that. I'm also getting to be patient with your own self if you're at a crossroads. Like if you're, if there's a decision that you're trying to make, um, you know, just appreciate that position, even though it's uncomfortable. It can, it can be very uncomfortable being in this position of having to make a decision. Um, I'm getting here to just appreciate the process, okay? And I know that's easier said than done. But just, you know, it's more like taking a deep breath and being like, okay, you know, this is the situation and there's a reason for it. And there's always something to gain out of it. And just try to appreciate that moment of not having made a decision yet. Like, try to sit with that. Let's see. All right, so we have strength, the nine of wands in reverse, and the four of pentacles in reverse. You're releasing. You are releasing. It's taking a lot of strength and I feel like you have learned strength. You have gained strength, but not only strength, also compassion as well as um, patience. And what I mean by compassion is that certain things that you know maybe you felt resentment for in the past, you're able to now appreciate those things as well and as to why you know um, certain people behave in certain ways whether that be the masculine or anybody else and that does take strength in order to be that compassionate and to be able to you know kind of stand above the situation and be able to um, acknowledge it and perceive it and interpret it in that way that takes strength all right so that's that's something that the feminine is, is learning or has learned and I feel like you know, you're doing a really great job of that and also releasing resistance here with this nine of wands in reverse. I mean, it can be like a giving up kind of an energy but I'm not seeing it in, in the negative way, all right? Because it's, it's right between these two cards, right? Which is telling me that 
you, yeah, you are giving up, but you're giving up on trying for something, right? Putting in this effort for something where it's not really in your control, right? It's, it's, it's a different situation outside of you and we can't always control those things. We can only control our own perception and that's exactly what I'm saying here is that you're showing a lot of strength in the way that you are actually coping and handling this, even if, it, even if it's painful, right? Because I know for a lot of you it, it is painful and you might not be feeling strong. Um, but that strength is there and you're actually exhibiting it. You're releasing, all right, four of pentacles in reverse. You're you're letting you're letting go. You're not and you're releasing old ways of thinking, old ways of being, old ways of holding on to this. And if you don't feel like you're in this energy, you know, take, again, take it as guidance, take it as encouragement because that is what is going to help you to move forward and that is what is going to help this connection energetically. Okay. So So let's see what is coming up in the next week or so, maybe a couple of weeks for the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner here or situation. All right, we have the five of swords, judgment showing up again, and the ace of swords. Wow, okay, so the way I'm seeing this, all right, five of swords can be a negative card, but it's right next to judgment and the ace of swords. There's a huge truth here, and this is the masculine actually fighting for their own self, even if it's at the cost of others, and even if it's at the cost of something that they would want. Really interesting message. Um, they're really entering this energy of making a discernment, making a decision here and taking action based on what they want, standing up for themselves no matter what. So really interesting, I wouldn't expect them to be in this energy so so soon. So maybe for some of them, it might be a little bit further down, all right, in the future, because this is a very specific group. Um, so it does make sense that spirit would give us um, like a longer term um, future energy of where this is meant to be heading rather than short term because next week's reading might maybe it will be this group maybe it won't um but yeah it definitely feels like there's a major major wake-up call here that is happening regarding action whether they take it yet or not that wake-up call is here that the action that they need to take has to be um for their own benefit especially concerning their own their own happiness here um all right let's see for their energy towards their feminine the four of wands the nine of pentacles and the high priestess so a movement towards first of all um, following their intuition knowing what they deserve knowing that they also um this is so weird the way it came in. They deserve to deserve the feminine. <laughs> I don't know why Spirit gave it to me like that, but that's how they gave it to me. Um, maybe because the masculine still feels like on some level they don't deserve the feminine, especially if they have done things um, to hurt you in the past, um, but they deserve to deserve you is what they're, they're moving towards feeling, right? Four of Wands, I mean, this is... Um, divine divine union this is um it can talk about marriage it can talk about also stability so they're moving in that energy of wanting this with their feminine feeling like this is home and i'm seeing it as them wanting this even more and wanting wanting to deserve you basically wanting to deserve you and coming into that alignment so I'm not seeing necessarily like any specific actions here. This is more of an energy and of course for each of them, the action part can play out in different ways. Okay, um, so yeah. All right, so let's get an Oracle card to close this out. And we have loyal heart. 
Yeah, and I feel like this is just very like symbolic um, for for the connection, um, and it's also a message for the feminines to know that the masculine's heart is loyal. Okay, um, to to the extent that is significant, at least. Okay, like it, you, I know it may feel like well, they're not loyal if they're you know in another connection here. Um, but this is this is referring to something different, okay? It's not referring to the 3D. However, of course, you know, again, you're moving forward. You are releasing as you should be. That's what's important. But the connection is always there. That's what this is saying. The connection is always there. On a soul level, you are connected and your hearts on a soul level are loyal. So, um... And I'm also getting, I mean, that the masculines are more and more feeling this, that they want to be loyal um, to you with whatever it is that's happening now. So that is it. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will try to get another reading out um, by the end of this week. I will try. All right. Much love. Bye.